What's up, guys and gals? This is Interface. Follow me on all these social media, like, share, and subscribe. What's up guys, this is Interface, and today I'm gonna talk about some monitors. Now, I had multiple 4K monitors, and I think two of them got broken by my cats by knocking it over, but when I had them, their quality was amazing. Um, until I realized, hmm, let me just see this 1080p monitor that my brother was throwing away, and I started using it and after using it I went oh my god I cannot tell the difference between my 4k monitors that I usually use and this is full 4k ultra HD widescreen monitors um, one was I think it was uh, an AOC monitor and uh, I think a Viotech monitor I used to have when I got to this monitor this cheap monitor from Walmart and on monitor O N N, I went, oh my God, this monitor looks the same as my 4K monitors at 1080p, which does not make any sense. So obviously different monitors have different quality to them. It's kind of like video bit rate when you have, you can have an HD video, right? But just because it's HD 4K or 1080, um, that doesn't mean the video bit rate is high enough to actually be high quality. So if you have a 1080p video and it has super high bit rate, that 1080p will look better than the 4K uh, video with low quality or low bit rate. The same with monitors. I guess these monitors got so cheap to make that they can mass produce them in super high quality. Now I played this and tested this with both, both videos in 4K um, 1080 pictures uh, and video games obviously because I'm a gamer and the games look exactly the same now before I was using I think 34 inch ultra wide and I think a 32 um, 4k monitor and playing all the quality of the gameplay up to sometimes 4k depending on the game and sometimes 1080 but most of the time I ran it at 4k and th this I can obviously run everything at 1080 so this monitor the on monitor from Walmart which is like 80 bucks is so high quality there's no point in having a 4k again I ended up actually buying two of these monitors it was so high quality and I cannot tell the difference now that can be for a few reasons uh, other than these 1080p monitors are so high quality because they're so cheap to make and it's been so long since 1080p been around that, that they can actually sell the highest quality 1080p monitors for super cheap prices. That's one theory. And then the other theory is th these monitors are 22 inches and they also come in 24 inches versus 34 inch uh, 4K, which kind of blows up your screen. But the 4K is supposed to override that because it's four times the quality of 1080 but it just doesn't. I cannot tell the difference between my 1080p monitors and here's one of my 4K that I just threw away. I went, what's the point of having this thing? It, it was kind of, I could have fixed it all the way, but I said, wow, these 1080p monitors are so good and I can fit. And uh, another thing with the ultra wide and super ultra wide is you have to move your head left and right. And that's, it's just not doable, man. The easiest thing to do if you're video editing, especially, and if you're playing games too, uh, is just buy multiple monitors and then put them side by side. Uh, hopefully they have a thin bezel. But there's my AOC in the trash that I'm not even bother fixing because these 1080p monitors look so great. And I did not expect that. I photo uh, edit with it in Photoshop and video edit in um, Vegas. And obviously play games. I played Halo. Oh, another thing about um, 4K monitors and games 
that are horrible is that the newer games like I, it happened to Halo Infinite is when you start the game off it actually starts it off in 4k so if you have a uh, a low quality computer a or not a fast enough um, a CPU and not enough RAM you're gonna create a problem where when you first start off the game and this happened to multiple games not only Halo Infinite that the quality of when you first start when it's auto detecting your graphics card and everything actually stalls your computer and this happened multiple times and of course it's auto detecting your monitor it's not detecting your graphics card and your CPU and, and your uh, RAM it's just detecting your monitor so if your monitor is in 4k and you run Halo Infinite guess what your game's gonna start running in, in uh, 4k and it's gonna be slow so that's another benefit of having a 1080p monitor is that when you start the game and it auto detects 1080 it's gonna run the game at 1080 without any problems because 1080 is so easy to do with pretty much any graphics card nowadays. I was watching uh, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. I have a 4K file on my computer and I watched it in obviously the uh, 4K versions and on my 4K monitors and then I watched it on these on monitors which are only 1080 and it looks exactly the same. I cannot tell the difference. Like um, my fa and another thing is these monitors are right up against my face and I still can't tell the difference. They're just great monitors for the price that they are. They're like $80, $90. And there's no reason to upgrade a 4K. It's just pointless and still pointless. It's going to be pointless for like the next 10 years. It, there's just no reason. Especially with a uh, game on uh, graphics cards doing, you know, great crazy things like with uh, anti-aliasing and... Um, ray tracing and all these other graphic effects that you can do and bloom and it's just no reason to upgrade the, the resolution doesn't mean as much as it used to because of these extra features that all these games are coming out with especially with like uh, God of War Ragnarok um, uh, what else uh, Uncharted uh, 4 the whole Uncharted collection they have all these options in them to where if you run your game at 4k it doesn't look that much better if you just run at 1080 with high on you know ultra versus 4k on you know high or medium it doesn't make any difference because of all the uh, the anti-aliasing options all these new games come with but i just like to let you know that still in the year it's about to be 2024 tomorrow or maybe I'll upload this tomorrow so it will be officially the first of 2024 and there's still no reason to upgrade your monitor take it from somebody who had two 4k monitors and I don't miss them at all I don't want to pay and not only that but they're they're expensive for no reason they're, they have no extra features they're hurts are horrible they go 60 maybe on average and then maybe you get 120 here here and there and rarely do you get 240 and you're gonna be paying an insane amount of price for something you don't even use like who the hell needs 240 uh hertz on a monitor like it does nothing i guarantee you go up against the a really good call of duty player and he's running a, a 60 hertz on his computer versus an, an average player running at 240 hertz and he's still gonna be able to you it means nothing even in the gaming uh, uh industry and and in multiplayer like um fortnite or call of duty or battlefield they'll still kill you it's just skill it all relies on skill that extra here's the extra edge i get with for moving my uh mouse and seeing extra frames per second because i have high hertz it does nothing it's a waste of money and it always will be. So I think we hit that threshold where resolution almost doesn't mean any, anything as much, and especially in the gaming um, quadrant and even in video editing. Like look at all these videos on YouTube. They're all rarely 4K. They're almost all 1080. And especially, uh, and then you can also add the fact that streaming, you're not going to be able to stream in, in 2K versus, and, and let alone 4K. Have fun trying to do that with your uh, internet service provider. <laughs> it's going to stall in a second and freeze your computer. So especially if you're using OBS or StreamYards or whatever you're using. It's going to literally lower your quality down 
until it's gonna be super choppy and uh, probably gonna stall and then the file sizes on your computer are gonna be insane if you're saving it locally and uploading it is gonna be even more insane because now you're streaming in 4K and now you have to upload in 4K. And upload speeds are horrible. They're just terrible. Especially if you live in the United States. So these are the things you have to deal with. And it's just 4K. And we hit our peak with 1080. We, we crushed that threshold. To where resolution doesn't need to get any better than 4K. Or, or I should say any better than 1080. With all the extra effects you have in gaming. And with the movies thing... It also depends on the size of your monitor. So if you're run, running a, a, I don't know, a 43 inch monitor or a 50 inch monitor on 1080, then you'll see the difference obviously because you have a huge monitor and there's more pixels that your screen has to render. So on, in, in the end, for people who do, who play games, even the hardcore, um, photo editing, video editing, like everything, it's just, it's better just to have a smaller 22 inch or 24 inch uh, 1080p monitors versus any 32 inch or whatever ultra wide or super ultra wide 4K monitor um, because it looks the same. It just depends on how close you want to sit to your screen. Now, and I have these I have these uh what's it called these monitors right up against my face, and they look great. You can even see it on this camera which is a, an old 1080p camera that I'm filming with and um, you can actually see like the, the colors and resolution of the of the monitor and it looks good even on a compressed YouTube video it's just it looks great man and there's no reason to upgrade even in 2024 and I and for the foreseeable future I don't see upgrading um, unless I don't even know I it's just there's no reason to upgrade just to see a few more pixels on screen that don't your eyes can't really see. You have to actually squint to see it. And when you're playing a video game, dude, you're not gonna be oh look at this, look at these extra uh, pixels on screen you, uh, because of the resolution's higher. No, you're not gonna even notice it because of the all uh, the insane anti-aliasing. Um, they have like real-time anti-aliasing. Uh, what game was I playing? Let me see on my on my. Uh, screen right here. I was playing... Uh, what game was it? Oh, Spider-Man. Uh, I'm playing Spider-Man Remastered and then I'm going to go to Spider-Man Miles Morales. And it has, I think it's, I forgot what it's called. It's like two, it's a, it's a bunch of numbers. Two MRS or whatever the heck it is. Anti-aliasing and it actually detects what's on your screen and smooths out all the edges. And then, of course, you can add ray tracing and HDR and all these other things that make 1080p way better. It's not it's not worth spending the one the extra money on a graphics card to accommodate your spending the extra money also on your 4K monitor. Like these things cost 80 bucks. That's it. <laughs> my my monitors cost like 400, 500 dollars each, and they're they're garbage and they broke. By the way, those things are super flimsy when it comes to uh what's it called getting kind of knocked over like i remember i knocked over my old plasma and nothing happened to it like strip on the ground but um in the end it's not worth spending the extra money for 4k it's just not worth it it looks the same i cannot tell the difference i could not believe it when i first turned on these monitors i went what in the hell is going on it looks exactly the same as my 4k and i had everything i had super sampling to 8K, the, the obviously the desktop was set to 4K. The games were all set to 4K um, resolution. And like, I know what I'm doing. I, it's not like, oh, you forgot to set this setting. And this. No, dude, I've been doing this for many, many years. I've built computers for many, many years. I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm saying. It means nothing. I cannot tell, my eyes cannot tell the difference. It looks exactly the same. So don't, I would recommend not spending the extra money for 4K for man they said this about five six years ago to not like they're like i remember seeing videos on youtube to where a lot of people were like oh wait five years and maybe uh, uh because right now 4k is useless on on what's what on pc games and for everything else you're doing it's not really useful and now it's been five years since i've seen those videos on youtube 
and it's still not worth it. I, and I'm thinking, I'm seriously thinking that it's going to be maybe another five years. till it's still worth it. <laughs> to, or for it to be worth it. And even then, who knows if that's even going to be worth it. Because the game industry, especially, is coming up with better and better ways. With anti-aliasing and HDR and ray tracing and hair effects and tress effects and all these other effects. That they're implementing in these games. To where it's not even useful to upgrade to 4k because it, it they, they just keep they keep uh cir circumventing the need for 4k with all these extra uh, uh, uh effects they're doing and programs that they're using in their games to completely downgrade the fact that you don't need a 4k it makes no sense and then the uh, and spending more ram more money for ram and a higher processor and all the everything that comes with it it's just not worth it just I would recommend for people to just buy a, a on monitor or what any monitor that's eighty dollars that is quality. But I don't know about the other quality of the other monitors that are eighty dollars. But these on monitors, I can attest to that they work pretty damn well and they look pretty damn good. Um, and and also recommend just buying. I I my brand of computer is always a when I use Windows and obviously and. I know Apple uses Windows, but I'm talking about PC, and I usually buy a HP. I spent what 400, I think like 450 dollars, and it came with a graphics card. Um, and I think let me see my specs actually and tell you guys what. And it and it's, I run games. I can run games at like super ultra all the time, but I run them on usually high, and I have no problem with it. Um, and I don't even recommend buying a new computer because I don't really care that much about insane graphics like you see these videos of uh, uh, Not Dead Rising. What's the game? Um, God forgetting the game name that not the uh, oh well, I guess I can use Grand Theft Auto as an example Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto 6 is gonna look great But Grand Theft Auto 5 where the graphics just look insane and they're using like 4k and stuff like that, but you really don't notice until you're uh, while you're playing the game is a problem. You're just like shooting people, and I'm fine with just playing at 1080 in, in, on certain games, or uh, playing on medium or low on certain games. I, I really don't care. But I can attest that these monitors are great. They look great. Um, and you actually in the in this video you actually can see the. Uh, monitors I'm using or the monitors I, I threw away um, and they were 4k and everything and it's just like it's not worth spending the extra money so that's my video guys hope you like it please this is interface follow me on all these social media and if you like my videos like share and subscribe